up guys welcome to 254 celebrity channel if you are new here just feel free to like comment and subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for the support and without further ado let's get right into this tea now mama kenasip junior aka tanasha donna aka binti aisha <laughs> so she came through in a tuko interview to reveal that with or without diamond she would still have been a star because that's what she was destined to be and I was like, yes, honey, say it loud for the haters in the back. <laughs> anyway, so for them haters who have been saying that Diamond made Tanasha a star, mm -mm, you better wall up. Wall up because Tanasha claimed that only thing Diamond did was to boost her numbers in a short period of time. Otherwise, if she would have never dated Diamond, she still would have made it in the industry, although it would have taken her a bit longer. You've been hard. You've, you've worked hard on your project. How do you respond to people who say, were it not for Diamond, Tanasha would not be a star? I do you get say, those comments? I do. Mm -hmm. I do get those a lot. I would tell these people that Diamond has contributed to boosting my numbers, most definitely. He boosted my numbers in a short period of time because of the fact that I was dating him. Yeah. But regardless whether he was in the picture or not, my focus was there from a very long time ago. I was very well connected in the industry already. I, I, I know of numerous artists globally and in Africa. So I believe regardless of me meeting him, I knew what my destiny was and I knew what I wanted to achieve. And he met me when I had already recorded songs and I was already in the, I'd already released the song actually with Viviri. So I didn't meet him then start doing music. He met me when I was already in the music. Regardless him being in the picture or not, I knew exactly where I was heading. Maybe it would have taken another two years or three years more, but I knew I would have gotten there. So with or without him, you yeah. would be a success. Yes, I, yes. Love, I love that. that another interesting thing she addressed was the assumption that she dated Diamond to acquire fame. So she claimed that that's not true and that she genuinely loved Diamond and that he knew that she was loyal. Which I totally agree, kwa sababu ni mwanamke mgani atakubali kubadilisha dini just like that for a man. Hey, if that's not love, then what is love? Surely Binti Aisha must have been smitten to the core. And we can say that maybe the fame and the money was a bit of a catalyst. Because kuongea tu kweli, kama ni zile nzi za ule diamond wa mbagala, ule wakushoot music video kwa mtaro. Hey, hey, uya ngeambi wakule tu kwa macho ama one kwa view sasa. Because there is no way on earth he would have ever stood a chance with Tanasha. So the love might have been genuine, but girl, we know, we know, ni vitu zingine pia ulikuwa unaona. Hey, hey. Anyway, let's just get right into that part. So this is your call. Some people think you used diamond mm. to climb on top. Mm. Is that true? Not at all. Not at all. Um, I genuinely loved him. I genuinely fell in love with him. He knows that I was loyal to him. He would, he could take my phone and go through my phone so comfortably. And he used to say to himself, he knew that I was loyal to him. I believe that if I didn't love him, I wouldn't be loyal to him, yeah. you know, or I would do things behind his back, or I'd get nervous when he holds my phone, you know, but I genuinely loved him. Um, I did not use him to climb to the top. Matter of fact, in the beginning, I was against putting our relationship in the public. If my intention was really to get clout out of all of this, I'd be like, post me, do this, do that. In the beginning, I was against putting our relationship in the, on the media. So um, later on, obviously, he would do it, you know. But then, no, I would definitely like to, to cut off those claims. That's a man I genuinely love. That's a man I'll always have love for. I've moved on, but I'll always have love for him because he's the father of my son. Anyway, what do you guys think about what Tanasha said in that interview? Do you think that is true that without or with Diamond, she would have still become the star that she is? Or do you think that without Diamond, there would be no Tanasha and that's on period? Go ahead and comment your thoughts on the comment section below. Like this video and for those who have not subscribed, please subscribe for more updates and until next time, bye!